what we're going to do now is look at uh, a different way of inputting uh, objects and lines into uh, AutoCAD. We're going to use the relative coordinate system. So let's say I want to draw the cross section of an I beam. Uh, it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty ropey I beam, uh, as you'll see as we draw it. But uh, it, it gives a good demonstration of what we're trying to achieve here. So for this uh, I beam, what I'm going to do is. Uh, using the absolute coordinate system is great because it tells you exactly where everything is in relation to everything else but you don't want to get too slavishly kind of devoted to uh, doing that method because very often uh, you might be working with arbitrary points uh, within model space uh, as, as we'll demonstrate now so this time instead of using a, a line I'm going to use a polyline now the main difference between a line and a polyline is that when you create a polyline uh, it keeps it all as one object so just to, to roughly show you if I uh, just draw using a polyline so so far this looks exactly the same as uh, the line that we use down here if I tap C and space now it will just simply close that up but with the polyline you get a lot more options of what you can do with it as you're drawing it uh, which again we'll explain in a little bit more detail a bit later on uh, but the main difference is if you look at these lines that I drew down here if I select one of those I've simply selected that line, it's a, it's a single entity in its own right. Whereas if I want to select uh, one of these, uh, if I hover over that and select that, I've actually selected the entire line, I've selected that whole object. So the polyline stays as one complete object uh, unless you choose to explode it. But again a little bit more on exploding objects uh, a little bit later, so we'll just delete that for now because that's, uh, that's not doing us any good. So that's selected. Uh, and I'm simply deleting there by pressing the delete button on my keyboard. Uh, again, uh, there's other ways of doing it, but that's that's probably the quickest way. So if we want to draw our I-beam, uh, or our universal uh, joist, our universal beam, what we're going to do is we're going to select the polyline. So you can select it up here, or you can type PL into the command line, and hit enter or space, and you see here it's telling you to specify your start point. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to start this in a completely arbitrary place. I'm going to start it completely randomly here. I don't really care uh, where it is in relation to the absolute coordinate system. It doesn't matter that it's not exactly on a grid point. I just want to start it there because I just want to produce a quick drawing uh, and, uh, uh, and complete it quickly. Now this uh, using the absolute coordinate system. So the next uh, position wants to be over here uh, about that uh, I-beam wants to be 200 mil wide so what I can do is, again I've got a number of options, uh, but because we're using the relative coordinate system, uh, I could figure out exactly where that point is, uh, where that start point is. I could take that information and add 200 to the X value, uh, but that's not really going to help us out very much here because this is that's going to take quite a long time and, and be quite complicated. So at the start of my next uh, command, it's telling me down here to specify my next point or use one of these options at the minute. I just want to use uh, the next point. So instead of just typing in a coordinate, now what I have to do is uh, press the at button. So you can see there in the command line we've got the at button. Uh, so uh, using the keyboard I've inputted that. Uh, so what that's doing is it's, say it, it's setting that point as 0, 0 temporarily. So f as far as the next point is concerned, that is 0, 0. So if I want to place my next point, if I want my beam to be 200 mil wide, I simply have to uh, now place it from that point. So it wants to be over here somewhere, it's probably going to be about, about there or thereabouts. So I've got at, and I want my x value to be 200. I don't want the base of my eye beam to uh, slope up, so it'll be comma zero. So I've put in my x value and my y value, and if I now hit enter uh, or space, it'll place that first point so that distance from there to there is 200 mil now so you can see this, this drawing is going to be a little bit bigger than, than the previous one so we'll continue using the relative coordinate system I want the thickness of uh, my uh, I-beam to be 10 mil uh, on the base there so on the Y value uh, what I need to do again is now I'm going to hit at again and what that does is it makes that point now this point here Zero, 0 as far as this next uh, uh, next point is concerned so I want to go up by 10 mil 
and across by zero mil. So it will be zero comma 10. And if I hit enter, so again, I've put uh, my X value is zero, so it's not gonna go that way or that way. And my Y value is 10, so it's gonna go up by 10 mil. So if I hit enter, I've got a 10 mil uh, distance from there to there now. And now I can just simply uh, continue drawing my I-beam. Uh, so my next coordinate system is going to be at, so again it's from the previous point, so now it's not concerned with this point or this point, it's only concerned with the previous point. We can now do this, I want to, to have uh, the web uh, of my I-beam uh, to be uh, approximately uh, 20 mil. So again, this, this is all quite quite arbitrary. So now what I need to do is I've put in the at symbol, uh, and because this line is going in this direction, if that is now considered to be zero, zero, this is actually a negative value. So we've now got a negative x value. So if I go minus 90, uh, comma zero, so I don't want it to rise up at all, it's just gonna go uh, horizontally across and hit enter then we've created our next point there. Again, we go straight up uh, up the web of our I-beam. So this is gonna be 150 mil uh, from the inside face to the inside face uh, of the I-beam. So we've got now, remember to put at, because if I, if I don't put the at and I put in the next value, it's gonna appear down here somewhere. It will be over here, which is wrong. In fact, if I show you what that looks like. So I want this to be 150 mil. So if I go uh, zero on the x-axis, uh, comma 150 mil on the y-axis, uh, and see what that ha what that looks like. This next point, you can see what it's done is it's reverted back to the absolute coordinate system, and it's put in uh, there's zero on the x-axis and there's 150 on the y-axis. So you can see it's completely thrown my drawing off. But that's okay because I can just undo if I type u and space, it will remove that point and I'm back to my original. Uh, drawing. So now if I put in the at symbol, so we've got at and then uh, we're going to go 0 on the x axis and 150 on the y axis and now we've got that. Uh, now again we could start using some of our um, snapping, uh, object snapping points so we could create that so it appears exactly perpendicular to that but just for the sake of completeness uh, on this video we're going to continue using the relative coordinate system so now uh, our next value is going to be uh, 90 comma zero. So we go at 90 mil on the x-axis. So again, we're going in this direction, in the positive direction, comma zero, enter. And that has placed that uh, perpendicular to there anyway. Okay, so the next one will be at uh, zero on the x-axis, 10 on the y-axis. Uh, and then we're going to come across, we want this to be the same width as this, which was 200 mil. Uh, but again, look, we're going in the opposite direction now, so we're going to have uh, minus 200 on the x-axis. So we've got at minus 200, comma, and we're not going up or down on the y-axis. So we've got zero. Uh, again, there's, there's other tools now that you could use to complete this drawing a lot more quickly than we're doing it here. And again, we'll, we'll be looking at those tools in later videos. Uh, the purpose of this at the moment is just get us used to the coordinate system uh, and in particular the relative coordinate system so we'll see what that looks like so now we've got at uh, we don't want to go anywhere on the x-axis because we just want to come straight down so we're going to come down by 10 which is the thickness of our steel uh, sorry so that should be zero on the x-axis now we're coming down on the y-axis so it's minus 10 enter and that's placed uh, and then we're going to come across by, I think it was 90, wasn't it, we said? So the apps, uh, the app value, so we're putting the app symbol, and we're going across by 90, uh, and we're not going anywhere on the y-axis, so zero. And again, we're going to come down. You, you can tell that instinctively I'm, I'm already jumping ahead and trying to snap to points, because I know that I can do this a lot more quickly. Uh, but this, again, is for the sake of completeness, we're, we're going to continue doing it this way. Uh, so we're going to come uh, the at value and then we come down uh, by 150, zero on the x-axis, so zero, comma, uh, minus 150. So again, remember that's relative to this point. So we're coming from here, we're going nowhere on the x-axis because we don't want to move 
uh, across that way or that way but we are going to come down by uh, 150 uh, mil so if I hit enter now we should get that in there and then finally just coming across we've got uh, we're going to go across by 90 so we go at uh, and on the x-axis we're going minus 90 and on the y-axis we're going 0 hit enter and then I could at this point just click C and space and that would close it that would automatically put this line in but again just for the sake of completeness let's show the line show the coordinate system so we go at uh, 0 on the x-axis and then minus 10 on the y-axis hit enter and it's joined up at that point and you can see because we've we've done this really carefully and quite exactly you can see that it, it has met up absolutely exactly with that if I was just to try and place that without any snaps or any command just to try and click on there you'd never get it exactly in the right position if you zoomed in you'd find that there'd be a gap there and you've not got it quite right so uh, this this system does have a lot of value we've finished our polyline so if we hit enter that's our polyline completed you can see we've created uh, the section of our eye beam and again uh, illustrating uh, what we said earlier if I select one of these lines I select the whole line uh, whereas down here if I select one of these lines I select just a single line there so that's what we've got so there's our I beam using the relative coordinate system